Hello friends, today I'll talk a little bit about Awakening Wish PvE, which addons you should use, why I believe that following asset skill rotation is bad, and more. Let's start with the biggest 2023 change. Since the 8th of February patch notes, Awakening Wishes and Wizards now have all 4 pet skills in hand when either of the pets is out. During the same update, Earth's Calling was changed to a Fisher Flow and Barrage of Lightning became a tier 3 addon skill. Earlier, we also had some minor damage buffs to our underperforming Awakening spells. That's about it for the 2023 buffs, now let's talk PvE. For PvE, I prefer to always have Gore out. Not only does he attack more targets, but he also can take some punch for you. From the cores, you want to take the Fisher core to make your rotation fully protected. For addons, I have two sets that I swap between. The first set is used mainly for lower or mid-tier grinding like Sukraya, Star Zend or Serendi Elvia and the other one is used for more tanky spots like Hex Sanctuary, Olums, etc. The idea behind these addons is putting the most important ones on the Fisher skill since you'll be able to keep them up 100% of the time due to low skill cooldown while having a few duplicates on other skills. This goes perfectly with Awakening playstyle, the famous Fisher spam. Now let's talk a bit about rotation and why I don't like a set one, since after recent updates pretty much all of our skills do decent damage, with Fisher taking the crown of course. As for actual combos, here are some examples from the guide in Witcher Discord. And even though I don't like set and stone ones, these ones do the job for the first few hours. Since combos will be different for most spots, instead I prefer to rotate addons if that makes sense. Although. For about every spot, your first spell should still be Voltaic, for Eva Shred, cast speed buff and add-ons you decide to put on it. Even though sometimes relating skills and add-ons is virtually the same, in the former case you can just skip a skill that does a bit less damage, or is slower than the other, if you can keep add-ons with just one skill. If you are a beginner, witch or BDO player, I still suggest using the combos mentioned before as you learn the class and making your own rotation when you get more comfortable with the spec. The only spot where I would suggest using an actual combo is underground Gaifin, since there is enough time for most of your skills to come off cooldown by the time you engage the next pack. As far as Rabams in PvE go, in my opinion only the first one is remotely useful for awakening. When you're grinding a high end zone with lower DP, quick kill can come and clutch and Sage Thunder can be used to finish off some very low HP mobs. For hotkey spells, must of ones are Speed Spell, Red Orb, Elvia Skill and Prayback and E-Heal, since you'll be able to use it without swapping to stuff. Also good ones to have are TP, Blue Orb, Pet Summons and Sage's Memory. Now let's talk a bit about some notable Awakening skills. Detonative Flow, as I said before, can take you from pre-awakening to awakening really fast, if you don't want to bother with the sidestep and c-swap. Next one, Fisher, the king of damage. Apart from previously discussed Earth Calling Flow, Fisher has another flow, perfect sign, but in order to activate it, you have to hold the skill input until you see the perfect sign explosion. It is also very important to note that Fisher is a max hit skill, which means that your positioning has an effect on how much damage it will do. In short, if you want to maximize its DPS, you should be close range to the target, but not too close. Barrage of Lightning is another notable skill. It has two animations, Sped Up, which occurs when used after any Awakening Lightning skill, and a slower Frontal Guard Charge Up into Super Armor Damage, which ideally is only used in PvP, since if you're using the Sped Up version, it won't do full damage there. For PvE, the faster the better, since both versions do the same damage. Last but not least, Lightning Blast. In terms of hits, the skill also behaves similarly to Barrage, but instead of all lightning spells, it skips its first hit only after the Renative Flow and Magical Evasion. Alright, that's pretty much it as far as I can remember now. If I find or remember something new, I'll make sure to put it in the description or comments, so stay tuned! If you guys enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd also make this short guide for maybe Succession Witch, Mayago or Wizards in the future. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, see ya!